I'm so excited to play Stardew Valley. I really love that there's no wrong way to play this game. You can try to complete a bunch of things as quickly as possible, or you can play really, really slowly, uh, or you can mod the game like I have. There's over 400 mods in this playthrough. I've never personally gotten very far in the game, which is kind of weird considering my hours, but I think I just spend a lot of time modding and obsessing over perfection. So for the first time, I'm just gonna not care gonna play the game and enjoy it and do as much as I can until I feel satisfied so I'm gonna make a new farm and start playing. I have a modded map that's on a riverland so we're gonna be on the riverland so I'm just gonna call it Riverberry and I'm just gonna do guarantee year one. I'm not gonna do remix because like I said I've never actually completed the CUNY Center before so it's gonna be my first time doing that. We'll do skip intro because we've already seen the intro and I'm not gonna start the mirror. This is for character customization. It only costs a thousand gold but we can just earn the gold and buy it. It's no big deal. I think this is all good for our character. This is the first time I'm using this farmhouse. Normally I use the most popular one on Nexus, a seasonal farmhouse, but I just wanted to try something different this time. Also, you notice things are kind of changing when I place them down. That's because of alternative textures. Once we get the paint bucket from Robin, we can pretty much just change everything to whatever we want. We'll just grab the parsnips. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. So this is the birthday mod. Basically, as you build your relationship up, other characters will be able to send you gifts on your birthday. Kinda got tired of always having to give them gifts, but they never do any work to give me a gift, so this mod fixes that. Hey, I forgot to ask you when your birthday is when you moved in. I wanted to make sure I knew so that I could make a record of it in the towns of documents. Want to make sure you feel welcomed after all. Just fill out this form here and you'll be good to go. The more time we have, we can build a relationship up and we'll be able to get some gifts hopefully. So I'm just gonna pick fall. I could do winter, but fall is fine. Okay, fall eight. I'll make sure to remember that. See you soon. I think I'll just do the classic, clear everything out, plant the parsnip seeds, go buy some more seeds, and pretty much that'll just be day one. I know it's very blue, very pink, very pastel. I hate the way the vanilla looks. I mean, there's nothing wrong with vanilla, by the way. It's a great game, but I don't like the orange look. And I know there's mods to kind of tone the colors down, but I just stuck on this one. This is the blue grass recolor, and I just cannot change it back. This is the only one I like to play with. Very easy on the eyes. So now that we have enough for a chest, we can go ahead and make one. And I have a mod. It's a little bit cheaty, but it's very helpful for someone like me. You can pretty much just open it, carry it, do whatever you want with it. You can put it down, pick it back up, open it in the mines even. I really, really like it because I have a very hard time remembering when I grab items or when I leave them behind. I've walked across the map without actually having the item on me that I needed. This prevents that frustration of wasting half the day walking across the map. I know some people like to put a chest outside the mine, for example, and then they'll use the elevator to go back up to the chest and then use it. But what's the difference? You know, I just have it on me. Just one less step of having to go up the elevator. It's just always on me. I just prefer it that way. You can adjust it if you want to make it where it slows you down walking. I did try that, but it just frustrated me. So I'm on normal walking speed. I can have I think I have it set to four or six chests is the maximum I can have on me. You can make it where you can only carry one if you want to just try it out without making it too much. It's up to you however you like to play the game. This is how I like to play the game. So I know we're running low on energy, but that's not a problem. We have two hot springs we can use, so we can just go to the modded farm cave. This farm cave will drop mushrooms and fruits. It also has an ore place. It was pretty extreme, so I just adjusted it so it's not giving too much per day. I do like the helpfulness of it. And there's also like a mini greenhouse area, which is gonna be nice to use. And there's a hot spring area. I think that's enough energy for now. I wanna see if we can find something to gift Caroline. So she's the best to start getting a relationship with since she gives you the tea saplings. And tea saplings are nice if you just need some extra money. Probably all my money will come from fishing, but if possible, I would like to have a relationship with her just to get the recipe. If nothing else, we have a leak for George, but I don't see anything for Caroline. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> Hang on a second. There we go. See, I love this mod. It's so nice. I know we have a quest for talking to all the characters, but honestly, once the egg festival comes, that's going to be taken care of. So 
I'm not even gonna waste time talking to, to the characters. Nothing changes in your progress, so it's it's okay. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring this overgrown fields by myself. I mean, you can still explore them if you want, just don't trample on my crops or whatever. I guess I should mention that town is looking a little bit different because I do have Stardew Valley Reimagined 3 loaded onto this. I am not playing Stardew Valley Extended. I actually have no interest in that one. Maybe later I can try Ridgeside or one of the other mods that add new characters, but for now I just want to play with the base characters in the game. And it doesn't seem like I'm finding anything for Caroline, so I'm just gonna go to the store directly so we can get some more seeds. Since there's less pressure off of what we need to plant, because I do have a little bit of a miniature greenhouse in the farm cave, I think I'll focus on just trying to get cheap stuff to build up my farming skill. And then we can buy some seeds to plant later inside of the farm cave greenhouse. I think I'll get five more minimum. Normally, I like to get one of each or as much as possible, but I don't think it's necessary this time. We'll be fine. I do like tulips for Evelyn, and I do have a mod that gives you a chance of getting a large flower. I don't think it'll be possible to get that right now, so I might hold off on that for now. So I kind of changed my mind. I was thinking about community center, so I think we'll just go with this for now. I know that's an ugly number, sorry, but it'll be fine. Let's just go back and plant these. finish those I'm gonna go put these in the farm cave because that way they can just stay there and keep growing and regrowing until I get bored of them basically it will mean that I have to come down to the farm cave which I'm gonna do anyway because I'm gonna collect the fruit but we can just put these in the back maybe it's only 740 I think I'll spend time fixing the farm up a little bit because I do want to have an area for trees and this is a mess and it's got to go. So let me just try to do as much as I can on the farm. We'll replant some of these trees. Oh, here's a new flower from a mod. I don't know if anybody likes this. We could give it to Caroline for now. And I'm not sure what this is. These are things to explore in the mod. Yeah, okay, that's nice. We picked that up. Yeah, I hate when things go in the water. We still have some time, so I'm just gonna jump in the little bath and get some more energy since we can pretty much stay up till two anyway. And I'll just keep going. That's why this is so useful in the beginning. Just lets you get a little bit extra done. I know there's a, a mod for like changing the time completely, being able to slow down time or make the day last longer, but I don't really have interest in doing that. I remember reading something, I don't know if it was for Stardew or which game it was, but when I thought about slowing down time or adjusting the time, the developer had said that realistically we can't do a whole lot in one day. And I was like, you know what? That's true. We really can't do a ton of things in one day in the real world. And I know this is a game, so it doesn't really matter, but that kind of helps with feeling like you have to rush everything or get everything done as soon as possible. Cause yeah, realistically, this is a lot of work for one day, so it's fine. But if you like to slow down time, that's fine too, honestly. I don't think there's any harm in doing that if that's the way you like to play. Kind of like the debate of, is it okay to adjust the time in Animal Crossing? Like, who cares? Just play it how you want to play it. It's really not affecting anybody. There's no like leaderboard or score to damage anyone else. So it's totally fine. Okay, now let's plant. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You do not get anything from trees until you have level one. Oops. <laughs> Okay, let's just go to sleep then, but that's fine. We cleared it out at least. It's not a big deal. Yes, level one, the one that I needed. I totally forgot about that. That's fine. Well, we'll get more seeds later. It's gonna rain tomorrow. I like this mod because you can just glance at the top and know your luck. It's gonna rain if there's a recipe. There's a birthday. This is with more new fish mod. Just to make it a little bit more challenging, I guess you could say. Maybe it's not actually, maybe it's helpful, but I added more new fish mod, which adds a bunch of new fish and so they send you a letter just to kind of remind you where fish might be located. Dear farmer, congratulations! You have won a subscription to our angler's guide which is full of fishing tips for the season. 
You'll be receiving each edition of Fishing Magazine on the 10th of each month, a courtesy of Fishing Spotlight editors. I already have a mod called Visible Fish, so already I can kind of see what is swimming around in the water, so it's not a big deal. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff and my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop at Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I have chest. Technically, I could never buy a backpack from Pierre because I have chest, but... We'll unlock them later. Hello there, just got back from fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. And it's fishing day. So let me get these things watered and pick up everything from the farm cave. And we'll just go straight to fishing. Probably I can get to level five fishing, not even kidding, because I don't have the fishing mini game. Everything is done here, so I'm gonna go to the beach. So maybe I can stop by Caroline. It is Tuesday, so they should be working out today. So maybe I can gift her this flower because she is on the like list for this. Move, Abigail. Hello, you must be Ash, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hmm, should I wear something special to the aerobics meetup today? Here you go. Oh my goodness, are you sure? I'm totally sure. I am using you for your tea saplings. The water is so pink. <laughs> Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Glad to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind for a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I'm gonna sell you a lot of stuff. You received a bamboo pole. Trash pole. <laughs> There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. As my old poppy used to say anyway. Alright, time to fish. If I can buy a rod today, I will buy it, but if I need to wait to level up, then we'll just buy it later, but... I have the fish me mod, so basically I don't have to play the mini game. I will sit and wait a little bit, so time will keep passing as I'm sitting here and getting fish, but I just have to click and that is it. Also, it does uh, give you the best possible according to the rod and the distance you're throwing. Um, so I will get Iridium quite fast. It's okay for me. I, I like it that way. <laughs> okay, we're already leveled up. You will level up fishing quite fast with this mod. I'm not sure how much you can adjust, but I don't I don't care. Really, I prefer it this way. I don't mind it. I enjoy fishing more. And it's not always perfect. You'll get seaweed quite a bit at the same time. It's not the most balanced thing, but it's still enjoyable for me. Great. That's not what I wanted. Uh yes. I guess I should mention that I do have another mod, aquarium mod, which basically adds an aquarium where you're gonna add all the fish that you collected inside of and you can get rewards so i just felt like we have a museum why is there not like an aqu aquarium or another place just a collection place um i know you can kind of make your own museum or things at your farm but uh i like the aquarium at animal crossing so i just thought it'd be cool to add the aquarium mod to this game and it also adds a little bit an extra layer of difficulty, I guess, where I need to be aware of what I'm collecting and make sure that I save things so that I have at least one for the aquarium that I catch, which can be really hard because sometimes a fish like this one is worth a lot, but I can't sell them all because I like to save a little bit, plus I need one for collection. So, yeah. Level two, just like that. I want to run in real quick and check. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get enough fish to be able to get a rod. That's okay. That's fine. Maybe tomorrow. But good to know you can get a rod on the first day. I'm so jumpy at noises. I think it's a fish every time I hear some little noise and I always click too quickly. <laughs> I'm never looking at the exclamation point above the character's head. I should though. Oh, I got the expensive one. A little shark. Let me just fix 
this. And we can eat the mushrooms for more energy. I think I'm just gonna spend the whole day fishing. That way we can have some more money for tomorrow. Tomorrow is rainy, so we can definitely get the new rod tomorrow. Oh, nice. We got some iron ore. Since it's getting late, we can just head back. Whoa, what is that? Arcane pink seaweed. This must be from the same mod as the pink flower that I got earlier. I don't know much about it. It just adds a ton of flowers and I think those flowers are actually specifically from Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I wasn't that lucky actually this time. I think I'll just go ahead and just sell everything because I can definitely get higher quality. Maybe I'll just keep the sunfish because sometimes I don't know why I struggle to get that one. I think I fish always pretty much when it's raining so if a fish needs to be caught during the sun. It'll be harder for me to grab it. Okay. And this one. I'm gonna stick this little guy in the fridge. So you can just stay there. Nice. Okay, definitely can buy the rod. Dear Farmer Ash, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned or already have a kitchen. Anyway, I hope you're starting to fill a home in Study Valley. Your local carpenter. Did I talk to Robin? Did I talk to that many people? Am I crazy? Did I click on people without realizing it? That's weird. Yeah, today is definitely a complete fishing day. Oh, I got a cactus. Let me plant this over here. We can do pine and oak and then we can do maple if we find any maple anywhere. What is this over here? Another pine. We're just getting pine. There we go. <laughs> At least we can get one maple. Oh, there's a thing. I have a mod that changes these little artifact dig spots. It's so random, so sometimes I don't recognize that it's a dig spot. <laughs> but since it's shaking so obviously, at least I could understand that time. Today is Wednesday, so I don't think we can see Caroline today. She'll be inside. Okay, let's buy the fiberglass rod and let's get some bait. Okay. And we can throw this in the trash. Goodbye. Hmm, finally, we got an iridium fish. I know it's bubbling here, but you won't get iridium if you use that, so I'm not going to care about that one. I would like this fish, please. That is not this fish. Oh, thank you for replacing my bait. My chest is getting full. Gonna have to make another one. Ooh, I got the octopus. Cute, but I still want this fish. I think I can make it to level six. Mm -hmm. It's almost 12 anyway, we can just go back. We got more iridium fish that time, which is really nice. So I think just go ahead and sell these. I can't remember what we need for the community center. Ooh, we didn't get any iridium flounder. Wow. Guess I'll be coming back to fish for those. I'm not sure how easy the sea snake is to get, so I'm gonna leave that one. We can sell this. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Mm, Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. This spring is lovely. And I'm just gonna dig through trash. Thank you. I'm gonna stick the rest of the fish in the 
fridge because some of these will be for the aquarium some of these will be for cooking and whatever i want to save some of these yeah because some of these are for foraging and things like that and i know that hot peppers are really good for gifts but since i only have one we can just save that one the wizard loves this i didn't see that earlier that's so nice because i have romancing the wizard on this and he is going to be the person i go after we can put this away i'll keep these for george uh actually we'll keep two for george okay we can go to sleep now. Tomorrow is not rainy, so we'll definitely need to water plants. I'm not sure if the mines will open. Nice. Definitely Fisher, because I'm probably never going to use a crab pot, to be honest. Hopefully I'll try them out eventually, but I always just forget about them, so... Day four. Mm, Clint came. Oh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. So, so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willy. I'm not sure. That's kind of interesting because I'm getting this message as if it wasn't available, but it already was. I need copper ore. Okay, I can check my farm cave and see if there's anything we can get. Since the mines are not open, I'm not sure if I should fish or cut down some trees and do some organizing on the farm. Let's see how many ores I can get out of here. I don't have enough to make a furnace, so we'll just wait, I guess, for tomorrow. I could get more seed, but more seed means more things to have to take care of. But I could get 10 more parsnips to put here. Maybe I'll just clear up the farm a little bit more for now and then maybe get some more seeds and then I can fish after that. I think I'll go say hi to George and give him a leak since I'm growing a collection now. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. All right, here you go, buddy. This is my favorite thing, thank you. Imagine a leak being your favorite thing. I wish I was that happy in life. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. I mean, you can buy a new bed. It's not like it's the walls or the floor or something. The new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I think Caroline should be out of her room. Yes. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Oh goodness, are you sure? Yep. Let's get 10 more of these. And I think I'll grab some of these now. Because Evelyn likes these. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. These are the Animal Crossing type seeds. You can breed it with other cosmos for a chance to get a hybrid. That's pretty cool. So we could put this in the cave. I don't know how much they cost. I mean, ah, here we go. Ooh, 420 gold. That's pretty good. Abigail and Sandy like that. See, this one's not worth as much. I wonder if the hybrid costs more. Oh yeah, Sleeping Beauty seeds. Okay, so these are the pink and white. Okay, white clover and pink Sleeping Beauty and yellow Sleeping Beauty. Oh, okay, so just these two can make the seeds, but I guess there's different colors. Must be pink, white, yellow, who knows? I don't know. What is that? Wow. Oh, but it doesn't sell for a lot. But the wizard likes it. Also, Sebastian likes this. You know, normally I go for Sebastian. This is tempting though. But this is the silver shadow rose, so I don't know how these are. This is look up anything mod. Um, it's very helpful, but in this case, it would be nice if I could see the other ones, but you can't. That is very expensive, but it does keep giving. So technically you would make your money back. Eventually, once I'm able to start decorating the farm, which I've never been able to do before, so I'm very excited for that. I definitely want to decorate it with flowers and have flowers on the farm. Heart rose starter. It's cute. Okay, this is definitely going to be nice. It grows on a trellis though, so I'm really curious how that looks. And everybody likes this. Wow, that is very cheaty, I think. 
but that's adorable. It is very expensive though, but we only need one for now. We can get some more later. I can put this in the farm cave for now. But I'm going to keep looking just in case. Hmm, here's another one that a lot of them like. Okay, but it doesn't reproduce. I think I'm going to go with the heart rose. And I believe this is also from the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I believe it's called like Florist Mix or something like that mod. I'm going to grab one of those. Tempted to get two, but I do need more cauliflower though. We'll just get six of those. I think because, yeah, I'm still not level one farming, so it would be a good idea to do something to help the farming move along. Oh, I'm losing energy. Let me go take a bath. I'm not sure if I want to plant this yet. I think it would make more sense to wait until we get fertilizer. I guess can go fishing now for the rest of the day. And maybe I can go fishing at a different spot could be good. We did a lot of ocean fishing, so... Oh, something is hiding here. Some other things that I am thinking of are getting wood to unlock the other side of the beach. Also getting enough wood and stone for the silo. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. I'll take the free rice. That's fine. We can plant that. Oh, I'm out of bait. No, I was hoping to reach level seven, but I don't think it's going to be possible because I don't have any more bait. I hope I get another chest with bait inside. Should have bought more from Lily, but too late now. Oh, this sure really bitey. You guys cannot give me bait the one time that I want bait. You're not giving me bait. Well, at least I'll reach level seven. Yay. Oh, one bait. Just one. Shane, what do you want? Leave me alone. I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't like Shane. I know there's like this whole thing about fixing Shane. I just... Gives me the ick. I don't like him. <laughs> no offense if anybody likes him. It's fine. You can like Shane, but he's not for me. I'm gonna organize this before sleeping. We have some stuff that can go to the community center. That's nice. Actually, I'll just clear this out because I think tomorrow I should be able to go to the caves. I mean, the caves. I keep saying caves. Mines. Which mines are a lot different. <laughs> I have a mod for the mines, so that will be interesting to look at. Okay, I think that's fine for now. And that's day four. Done. Level up in mining. Nice. Level 7 fishing. Cool. And 300 gold. So I was playing pretty late yesterday, so today is a new day in real life. But we're starting from the fifth day. And I think hopefully today is the day we can go to the mines. Oh, it's cat day. Hello. You see this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. It is not the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Will you adopt this cat? Uh, duh. My cat is Moxie, uh, so I'm gonna name this Mox. Well, little Mox, you be a good kitty now, okay? Again, alternative textures mod is changing things to the wrong colors. We have Mel from More New Fish, Smallmouth Bass, and Goldfish. A rare variant of Goldfish is available. Depending on the season, carp, chub, bullhead, largemouth bass are in the mountain lake, zebra, tilapia, and arowana. All right, Willie has new rods. Yay! And the lens light has been removed by Dojo Mart, so that's cool. You can just collect these because these are ready. So it seems like the same mod that does the Animal Crossing flowers is also adding this. I could take it out, but I'm just gonna leave it in. I've never gotten to the point of using a pr prismatic shard, and from my understanding, looking at the wiki or looking at what players say, that these are normally very, very, very rare. When we go to the mines, it's likely that we might pick up quite a bit of prismatic shards just because I have some extra things added in. I think to just keep it balanced, maybe I'll just go ahead and sell them um, or just leave them to this side. I'm not really sure what I'll do with them yet. Sorry if that 
upsets anybody because I'm collecting too many. Because honestly, I have no idea what they're used for. I've not reached into the game. I've never been to the desert or anything like that. So <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to do with them. I do know that's getting quite a bit of money. So I could, for the sake of just chilling the game out, not do anything with it for now. But we will see. This is normal. Getting parsnip seeds is a mod that I have. You have like a 10% chance, I think, to get some seeds back. I like that. I enjoy getting some seeds back. It makes sense for me, I think. <laughs> Being able to replant something without having to go and get more seeds. But it's a, it's a low chance. And I guess we have a, a new crop, though. And everybody loves it. And it sells for a lot. Wow. Parsnip made up. Platinum. I think I'll just keep it for now and we can see what to do. I can just replant these and then I can go get 16 more. I'm gonna check on the green beans in the cave. After that, I can go check for getting more seeds since the shop will be opened and then go right to the mines now that I'm down here. There's also something inside this cave. Like a little gift that I can go grab. Um, it's going to help a lot, a lot for the first part of the mines. Eventually, it's it's not going to be that great, but it's definitely a, a big help, which is this little chest that has a sword inside it. <laughs> it's a very nice sword. 18 to 35 damage. So it's a really good boost. It's a, it's a big help. Um... But once we reach the lower levels, it's it's going to be weak. So um, it's nice to have a little help. Oh, there's another pink flower. I just want the pickaxe and the sword and can use this for food for now. Oh, the traveling merchant. Mm. Mm. Okay. We'll go look just in case. Oh, some more flowers. Hello. Oh, another one. Hmm. So. Oh gosh. Okay. So the new stuff is going to be filling up the traveling cart, it seems like sometimes. Um, but there's nothing there for now. So we can just go to town. Does Marnie like these? Yeah, maybe I can also. If she's here. Yeah. Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. And have a gift. Thank you. You're welcome. The cows are going to look so funny here. I cannot change them, but they're also affected by alternative textures, so sometimes they look really funny. Okay, Caroline is at home, so... Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Okay, Jody. I need a 16. I can come back and plant those. Oh, Caroline. Ooh. Take this. Oh, it's okay. I've already given her two gifts. Okay, that's... That's fine. Let's go to the mines. I know there's forageables on the ground. I'm just kind of ignoring them because I don't want to run out of space too much. In my chest. I don't know how much I'm going to collect. Since we're on the first pickaxe, a lot of the things that we see in the mines, we cannot pick up. So I need to upgrade my pickaxe. Um, so we shouldn't get too full. I say I'm going to ignore forageables, yet here I am picking everything up. Linus, a stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay, bye Robin Williams. Because <laughs> that's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yes, my cave is looking quite different. I really love it. It's so pretty. Uh, I was just peering down into this mine, old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably there's probably good ore down there. I don't know why my brain was reading R and I was really confused. <laughs> there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. You look so out of place. I should change you to pink or something. Here, take this. You might need it. You received a rusty sword. Well, I ain't. It's trash for me. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. 
I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. So yeah, this this is nice. There is a little hot spring here we can use, which I might as well just use since I'm here. And it's so pretty. Obviously, if you're using uh, vanilla or any other color uh, texture for the grass and everything, it'll look normal and green. But um, it's so pretty. <laughs> I really like it. Changes the side as well. Super cute. Okay, we can't use that yet. Yeah, we gotta go down. Okay, also, <laughs> um, I've changed. I think this is like the cuter mines. So the mines look a little bit different. Although I do have some mods that change the way that mobs look. So technically this changes some mobs, but I think the other one is overriding them. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, this little thing, I don't think I can get this right now, yeah. Uh, these are clumps. I have quite a few clumps. Some of them are whatever. They're just little random things. I, I enjoy seeing them when they pop up. Some of them are a little cheaty. <laughs> like I said, you can see a lot of prismatic stuff. Let me get this thing out of here. Get out of my face. Okay, there we go. Nice. And there's nothing here. I think we'll just go straight down because I need to upgrade my pickaxe anyway. And just grab maybe some ore for a furnace. Can I break this one? No, okay. None of them, okay. I got it. <laughs> I'm too weak. Oh, I got shoes. Not the greatest, but better than nothing. I think these are supposed to spawn that often. I don't know, maybe it's because it's a lucky day. I'm seeing them a little bit more, but... Oh, there's a heart one. Cute. I can't break it though. <laughs> can't break anything. I do like the clumps. Um, just adds a little bit extra to the mines, so... It's fun, it's fun to see them. These strawberry ones are spawning a lot though. I might need to check the spawn rate and turn it down, but... The strawberry ones just give strawberries, like a random number. Uh, so they're not that bad. They're not like too cheeky. Just strawberries. This is one of the mob ones. This one's kind of cheaty. That gives a lot of dino eggs, I believe. But I can't, can't break it right now. What is that? Another one, okay. I just clear out my quest. Now, where is the down? Sometimes... Oh, there it is. Sometimes I have to break every single rock to find the down, even if it's a lucky day and it drives me crazy. There it is. Oh, is that my first geode? You found the geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what will be hidden inside? Oh, I thought I got one already. Well, just need to make sure that I give myself time to get back and plant the parsnips, so... Okay, now where? There. I say where is it, and then it just appears, so I guess that's the magic word. Just where is it? Oh, I got a ring. Nice. Cool. Okay, so we are down to level 10. Easy. I'm just gonna grab the rest of the copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm exhausted. Maybe I can also check in here for anything. Never know. Now we can go back. Actually, I'll go sit in the hot spring for a minute. And then we can go back so I have enough for the parsnips. I got an Asian seed. Nice. I didn't even realize I got that. I think that should be enough. Actually, I didn't even think I needed anything because I already watered the ground. So, well, that's fine. Just in case. Maybe I'll find something else to do before sleeping. I really like the Stardew Valley Reimagined. The only kind of negative thing is that it doesn't work with like every mod so for example there was one map that I would really like to use but because this affects the teleport places on the map a little bit it's not compatible with everything and you'll even see sometimes in certain mods it'll list that it's not compatible with those mods but I really like the shortcuts I know people like Stardew Expanded we're adding different things to the map and, and that's fine. I, I like this one. I got used to the shortcuts, so I really like them. 
Why am I seeing? That was weird. <laughs> I was seeing a floating hand. That was so weird. Should we sell something? I think I should make a run to Gunther tomorrow, huh? At the museum. Maybe I should make a second chest. Is it second chest time? <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. I think so. We'll just make a second chest because we are running low on space. I'll do some quick organization between these two chests. I will keep gifts and things and maybe the donations inside of this chest and I will keep everything else in the other chest. Okay, I think that's fine for now. Yeah, I can make a scarecrow and a tapper. I need to get a furnace though first. This is a lucky day, so maybe we should go to the mines again. So we need to get 10 slimes, and I don't like these guys creeping up like this, so let me just get rid of those. <laughs> I don't want them to spread over here. That would not be good. I gotta wait for these trees to grow. Oh, I forgot to pet the cat. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I got one extra as well. Very cool. I'm just gonna stick it over here. Yeah, we should just go to the mines since it's a good day. Tomorrow is Lewis's birthday. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I need to go to the farm cave, of course. Hmm, there's so much copper. Actually, I should check. I can probably make a furnace now before we go. Also, am I able to make... Yeah, fertilizer. I think maybe over here. There we go. Planted the heart rose now. And we'll make a furnace and a scarecrow. I think we can make a scarecrow. We can finish those two quests. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh no. I can't fix that, can I? <laughs> there we go, that's better. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a little scary. Oh, this one too. Come on, there we go, that's better. That's more appropriate. I guess we can just wait for that so we can just finish this. Actually, I can just go to town, go to the museum, and drop all this stuff off because I have a bunch of stuff. I think I'll wait for the geodes for now, but I have all of this. Oh, community center. Ah, okay. So if I had went north and just avoided town altogether, I think the community center wouldn't have opened until tomorrow because I would have just directly went straight to town. That's interesting. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. Yeah, even with a mod, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. They're always outside, actually. <laughs> we always see the kids and everybody outside. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Oh well, if anyone else buys a Jojo Corp membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. I am interested in doing a Jojo run, but maybe a little bit modified with mods. But I don't know. Here, let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Hi! <laughs> what? Are you blind, bruh? What's the matter? Are you ill? Oh, that's right, he can't see them. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. You're worrying me. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. I'm going to do that now because I would like to get to the wizard. Because the wizard is going to be probably who I romance. So there we go. Now to go to the museum. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, what kind of museum are you? What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. 
I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decided to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I have lots to give you. I have more. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and donate this prismatic shard. Let's see the rewards. I'll just take all of these for now. <laughs> Look at the little axolotls. They're so cute. There's so much to pick up. There is a dig spot. Okay, let's try to get to floor... Well, I think I'm gonna have to come back up after five floors. Because I forgot to bathe. Oh no. Nice. Another level up. Can I get this? Yes, I can. These are food clumps. <laughs> I just think they're so fun. Big bowl of cheese cauliflower. All right. Um, can go down. The only negative is it's a little hard to see the fiber with this green background. I would like to change it. I don't know if that's something that I can look into doing myself. We'll see. again. Does anybody like this? Maru loves it. Okay, we can sell it or give it to her. Where is this ladder? Oh, I didn't know that they could spawn on the dirt like that. Well, that's good to know. Maybe I should just use the cherry bomb I have. Because this is a bit much. I have two at least. Um, I can try one here. There we go. Okay, I don't think there's anything special, so we'll just go back up. Take a bath and come back down. So nice. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Done. And back down. I'm just gonna go. Oh, everyone's favorite level. Hmm. Am I gonna get lucky and find something? No, let's try here. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I can just start the next one. So it'll be ready in the morning. Cool. Level two mining. Nice. Okay, we have a, a recipe. So let's just watch that. Stir fry. The traveling merchant and Lewis's birthday. Now, Lewis likes hot peppers. Hopefully I'll get lucky because I believe, yeah, Shane's birthday is also this month. And also I need to get some money for the egg festival for strawberries. So I definitely want to continue going down the mines, but I also need to fish for gold because it's the quickest way that I'm going to get any money is just to go fishing. And I also need to start thinking about getting enough for building a coop and a silo. So there's a lot to think about. Today though, we also need to go to the wizard. Yes. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. And I got 500 gold from dad. Okay. 
keep going with this because as soon as I can, I will start to upgrade stuff. For now, it's water time. I do have cauliflower that I got from the museum that I could plant. I guess I'll just go ahead and plant them. You can't forget the fertilizer. Okay, Haley likes coconuts. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have her birthday gifts. Easy. We still need to go to the wizard and give Lewis his gifts. And after that, I think I'll just go fishing. I know it's a lucky day, but I kind of want to make sure that I have enough money. I don't want to mess up and not be able to catch anything good and, and lose out on money. I think I might go to the mountain lake this time, though. I'm gonna see what kind of things I can catch there. Who was this? Jazz Penny Sandy. Okay. Here you go. Don't see anything here either. Wow, that's really expensive. How much? They were selling for 800. No, 250. Okay. Wow. Don't know why that costs so much. Cute tree. Wizard time. His house and the wizard have both been updated in a mod, so. Come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Meteor between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred. You get the point. <laughs> and you, the one whose arrival I've, I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. Wow. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm gonna see for myself. I'll return shortly. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts to the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. One with the forest? What do they mean? <laughs> sniff, sniff. <laughs> Aha! Come here. Like, I'm a dog. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. That would be really terrifying, honestly. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Excuse you, don't kick me out of your house. This is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies, thank you. Not all flowers are loved. Where some see a rose, others see only thorns. Be careful who you enchant with flowers found freely. Be enchanted, be at peace. And look at the little Galsiver. Now we can go and find Lewis and then go fishing. If Willie is available, I don't know, is he? Oh, he's not available. No. Okay. I was gonna say I can get bait from him, but I guess we'll just make our own bait. Lewis, <laughs> I've like forgot what I was doing. <laughs> this is why I keep things in chest in my inventory. Um, he likes this. Okay. What is that? A pie. Jody and Maru like this, and it's worth four hundred gold. Hmm. Here you go. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Ah, uh, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Kind of awkward that he sniffed me. Caroline. Oh, did the gifts reset? Yes, they did. Oh goodness, are you sure? Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? No. <laughs> Never. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. I guess it's kind of difficult when you live on a farm though. Hey, at least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. Well, kinda do. Okay, let's see if I can catch one of these little cute guys. I don't know how much they're worth. 
It's not what I want. So cute! Whoa, that's worth a lot. Whoa! Cook it! Oh, I'm not cooking this little guy. No, 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 no. I would cry. So you can put them in a fish pond. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but we can try maybe later. That would be cute. I need to keep one for the aquarium probably. And I also would like to keep one to put inside of an aquarium at the farm. I hope we can catch some more. They're so expensive though. I wonder if it's just a blue one. It seems like there's a black, a pink, a magenta. Lavender. Oh, and it's expensive too. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here. So we have a lavender and a blue. Oh, Caroline, Demetrius, Emily, Joss, Pierre, Sandy, Shane. And Abigail, Evelyn, Jas, Jody, Maru, Wizard. Ooh. Maybe that's why they're so expensive. They're great gifts, but you can also sell them for great money. I believe Leah likes these. I hope I can catch some more. Or at least today, let me catch the yellow and the black one. And the pink one. You know what? I might use that, actually. I won't get iridium quality, but... Not what I wanted. Oh, really? It just disappeared after one time, really? Whoa. That was a lot of stuff. Mm, I used all my bait. <laughs> That's not good. Well, it's almost 12 anyway. It's fine. At least get a little bit of money. Oh, the cat is on the carpet. That is really cute. Good money. I'm very happy. Because <laughs> we're going to spend it on strawberries. We have really terrible luck today. So today would be a good fishing day. I also should go to the community center. Oh, I can finish these off at least. You just water everything. And then we can go to the farm cave and figure out what we're going to do for strawberries and everything else. Oh, the parsnips are done. Oh. Wonder how many prismatic shards we're going to get again. We'll see. I'll get some more parsnips and I'm just going to fertilize the ground because that way I have a higher chance of getting the stars. I mean, worst, I'm just going to buy a bunch of seed packets if I can't get five stars, but I should be able to get five. Five, five stars. <laughs> okay, so we have enough to complete one of the little bundles. Now oh, these trees are not growing. They're so slow. So for this, everything else that I plant, I'm just going to start keeping in mind for sprinklers. I think we'll just do one, two, three, a sprinkler, a sprinkler, then a sprinkler here. So we'll have an edge we have to do. And also because there's only two here, I would have to get smaller sprinklers or just manually do everything. I'll just stick this one here. So let me get fertilizer. So it'll be like this. Here you go. And now I can take a bath and get my energy back. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the foraging stuff. Stop by the community center. I should definitely go to Willie's like right now. I need to buy a bunch of bait. Another one for the wizard. I want to buy bait before suddenly it's 4 o'clock or 4.30 and I miss out. So let's just buy a bunch. Another one. Yay. What is this one? It's worth less than the pink one. And I guess you cannot make anything from it, which is really interesting. 
might save one of those then. Oh, Mario. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. It's surprising how much a change of scenery can help. I agree. I like taking walks too. Ooh, parsnips. Can't forget that nine I needed. Really, I almost forgot that. Okay, let's do some bundles. Here we go. Spring foraging is done. And I'm gonna keep those. Mm, I do have this mushroom and I'm gonna get some of those as well. Don't think I have any on me though. Construction bundle. Ball, okay, I definitely have that. Okay, these are not gonna be in order anymore. I hate, like, why don't they make it where when you put it here, it stays? Like, if I come back out, it's there now. I don't like that. I wonder if there's a mod for that. <laughs> I do have a mushroom. Oh, I do have this mushroom too. Ah, uh, this one wanted this one. Probably I will get these three or one of these. I don't know. We'll see. And the crab pot. I'll have to check my fish and make sure I catch them. Mm, Robin. Hey, I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix the place up. It used to be a really nice building. I mean, you're the carpenter. You could technically fix it up. I don't know how much time I have to collect these, but... I hope I can catch some more. Yellow, black, or pink. Oh, yeah. Again, same thing. Penny and Robin likes this one. I think they just kind of stuck the colors with certain characters. That's cute. So pink or black. We just need pink and black. Or more of the same. I don't mind. <laughs> yes. Is that the pink one? Oh, it's just a plain one. Haley and Jazz. But I mean, it's, it's pink, so. Okay, it's just this one. Elephant fish. At least I have a lot of bait this time. Another lavender. And I'm almost level eight. Another yellow one. Give me the black one. I don't have that one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch the black one because I think it's gonna despawn soon. Nice level eight. There's still a guy floating, so definitely you can still catch the black at this hour. Come on, give me the black one. Nope. Okay, I think they leave at 10 o'clock, which kind of sucks, but well. Since it's 12, I think I'll run back, check the fish I have, and sell some stuff. Oh yeah, I need to plant these. I really don't have a brain for this. Okay, at least I made it. <laughs> um, fish. And day eight done with level eight fishing. Nice. Lots and lots of money for strawberries. I'm not even gonna get that much strawberries actually. I think I will actually stop playing at this moment for now uh, because I already have three hours of footage recorded between yesterday and today. So next time on the next episode of the series, I will start from tonight.